Hello fellow mutants, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to talk about the 8th and final episode of the Netflix adaptation of After the Last Airbender. Until it has the second season, that won't be the last episode. Guess I have going to be like two more seasons. So here's hoping for the best. So in this case, this episode, the Fire Nation Texo. Water Tribe, the Waterbenders, Aang, and Team Avatar um, all work together to try to stop the coming invasion. Um, Suko sneaks in the Water uh, Tribe to try to find the Avatar. And he says he sees the Avatar, being Aang, but he fights a uh, Katora. Um, Shao is trying to like kill the moon spirit so the water benders won't have any um bending. And um what else? Um so I wrote kinda of like, you can't do that. We need these spirits. If these spirits die, then the whole world dies. And if you try to kill these general I um Shao, I will whoop Pull out a can of whoop ass on y'all. And, um, essentially, like, Shao kills the, um, um, Ozen spirits. Aang becomes a blue spirit that we've seen in the, uh, cartoon, which I have to say, for a live action adaptation of it, it wasn't bad. I actually quite enjoyed it. I actually quite enjoyed it. It was uh, pretty cool. It was pretty cool. I mean, of course, the animators who did it best, of course. But, like, I really enjoyed this. This, Especially since, like, we had, since this part in the last shit Bender movie that we caught. The N9 Shyamalan movie. But, this what film did it right. This show did it right. So, kudos to you. <coughs> um, UA sacrifices herself so the Moon Spirit can uh, um, live again because since the Moon Spirit gave her life, she's returning it. And uh, Aang defeats the Fire Nation, makes them run. Suko defeats General Shao and they escape. And Aang, as we see towards the end of the episode, struggles to, like, how can I be the Avatar without causing so much distraction? Like, destruction, I mean. Sokka and Katara makes a point saying, this is war. You need to stop living the past. People will get hurt. But we will be there to uh, be with you. Because you are our Ohana. So, eh. And so, um, and Suko and Iro says, um, Suko and Iroh has to talk saying what does uh, Iroh asking Suko what does he want to do and Suko says I'm tired and Iroh says well get some rest because every man needs rest and I forgot to mention in the Suko versus Shao fight Shao relays the information to Suko that so, Shao has been working with Asula. And that's what's the secret contact. And how he... That's pretty much how he found out that Suko was the blue spirit. The masked man who saved uh, the Avatar. And then we get this scene where uh, it teases... Essentially, it's a scene that teases the Fire Lord's Ozai's plan to uh, um, do uh, use Sosin's comet to essentially like be an asshole and wipe out people. So, and that is practically the end of the episode. Wait, we also see Asula conquering the Earth Nation, which we didn't technically get in um, what the uh, series. We didn't get to see that. And how Sula says, we conquered the Earth Nation. 
Earth Nation is under fire. Uh, a monster is under fire. Uh, nation rule. So admittedly, you know, like, that's in my experience was like one thing that I didn't exactly need to be shown. I enjoyed that. I enjoyed the hint of Sosan's comment. So I do respect both of that. Um, I am <coughs> kind of sad that they didn't take the opportunity to have Aang learn water bending at this water tribe. So, like I kind of said in my like last video or hint to about this, season two they would definitely have to like teach Aang the ways of water bending. Like, are there so flashbacks or uh, through Katara, which? They loaded Katara's car into, so... Yay. And they did tease... Go, returning back to Omashu... For, uh... Aang's waterbending training. So... That's been hinted. I am... I mainly have to say... I did enjoy... This episode. And... For the most part... The series... Um... I think that uh, there were some changes that I wouldn't have made. Um, <coughs> there, there would be some changes I would have made to this show too. Like Suko's eyebrow, I will have shaved that off. So I'm hoping in season two they'll shave uh, Suko's eyebrow off to make it more realistic to actual actual burn victims. Or at least more accurate to the Suko from the uh, anime show. Because um, Suko from the anime show. And compare. Guys can compare the anime Suko to this Suko. Even to the last live action Suko that we got in the last ship ender. Both live action Sukos had both eyebrows. Realistically. Unless. The fire so happened to like miss. Suko's eyebrow for, like, luck. Suko's eyebrow would have been gone. He would have still kept his, like, other eyebrow because that side wasn't burned. But this side, yeah, it would have been burned off the eyebrow, I mean. I mean, I feel like, um, at least in the original version of Return of the Jedi, Star Wars Return of the Jedi, they also represented that so well, where... Darth Vader, when we saw his mask off, which was like the first time that we saw the face of Anakin at that time when the Return of the Jedi came out, because there were no prequels to Star Wars. I do believe in memory strips and right, because I went on the internet and looked at it. I wasn't around when Return of the Jedi came out. It was like, what, 13 years before my time? But... Even, like, in the original first of Return of the Jedi, Star Wars Return of the Jedi, both of Darth Vader's eyebrows are burned off. Now, in the Blu-ray versions, and I believe in the Disney Plus version, I gotta re, re the Disney Plus version. <coughs> they did tackle on eyebrows for Darth Vader, which I feel like that would be... Um, what's the word? Unrealistic. But the reason why I'm bringing that up is because look at the original version of the Darth Vader death scene. You don't see him having eyebrows. Because he got burned. In terms of Revenge of the Sith, he got burned at the very end of the movie. Don't believe me? Watch Revenge of the Sith. And then re watch Return of the Jedi. You'll see. So, like, I do hope that in Season 2 they'll shave off the guy with Suko's eyebrow. Eyebrow. Because I feel like that would be more realistic. <coughs> that makes sense. But that was one of the changes I would made to this, this season. I know it was a small detail, but still. But like I said, I know. Like, there's be other things I would have changed. And maybe one day I will make a what I would have changed video to this show. But until then, what do you guys think about episode 8 of the Netflix Avatar The Last Airbender and what do you guys think about season 1 I say season 1 because 
Season 2, Season 3 were announced. Let me know in the comment section down below. Love you all. Have a wonderful day. Be kind to one another. I will talk to you about the mutants later. Later, taters.